Hi all, it's Kim with Rejuvenate Raw with Kim. And today I am going to show you how I make my favorite dish of all. It's spiralized zucchini and cucumber with tomato dressing. And right now we're going to start with the dressing. And it is so easy. It's so easy. So let's go. Alright, first of all I have about 10 tomatoes. Um, they're chopped into quarters. Let me show you real quick. I just very quickly boom 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 there you go and we have our Vitamix cannot cook raw without the Vitamix it is the most powerful blender that I know of I think there's some new ones out um, I haven't tried it yet but um, this one works so great we actually um, had a problem with it a few weeks ago and sent it into the manufacturer and they fixed it for free and had it back to us within like two weeks. They were amazing. Even gave me a new lid. So, um, very impressed with their service. So, we are going to knock these down and uh, so we have some more room in our Vitamix. And I actually make a very big batch because I eat so much of it. So, let's go. <laughs> the rest of our ingredients so um, these are sun-dried tomatoes I get them off Amazon of course and um, they do not have any salt any oils only ingredient is the tomatoes and they're dehydrated and they're organic so they're amazing there's actually a couple different ones so if you google it or put that in the search on Amazon I'm sure you would find it easily so we're gonna throw those in the Vitamix um, the next thing is the celery I have three stalks of celery and I just chop it up really about this size, easy. Throw that in the Vitamix. Next is our red pepper. I have some of it cut up, but a whole red pepper. I just wanted to show you how I cut it. Um, again, very easy. Just kind of chop it in uh, slices and then quarter it. Throw it in and it's good to go. Let's add the rest of it. Now since we're getting full again, we're going to tamper it down. This is actually called the tamper. Alright, ready to go. Alright. Have a little more space here. Alright, and next is the dates. I love my food sweet and spicy. So, I put like 10 dates in there, sometimes even more. So these are actually have a pit in them. They're dried dates. So we're just going to cut down the middle and you'll see the pit, the seed in the middle. And we're just going to set that aside. Sometimes they have a little piece on the end also that you need to cut off because you do not want to put that in there. If it goes through the Vitamix, it never really mixes up and it's not good to chop on that. So look for that when you're pitting your dates. So we're going to throw all of those in there. Alright, and next come the spices. So we start with some garlic and for those of you who aren't familiar with using uh, real garlic, uh, we start by just peeling the layers back here and exposing the cloves. So you can see it's divided into cloves and you just pull those out and you'll want to cut off the outer peel like this. And then just peel this back. It's almost like paper. And then you'll have the garlic clove. And then you'll just want to chop those up a little bit. I've got a few more in here. As you can see, I like mine pretty spicy. I've got about three or four. And the cool thing about cooking with raw food is you make it your own. Like, I give you a baseline of what I like, but then maybe you like your sweeter. Or maybe you don't like it sweet. And maybe you like more spicy. Spices, so just feel free to make it your own because that's the really cool thing about cooking raw. So next is I have fresh oregano. I have probably about a half of a cup here. Um, the dried is more concentrated, so you'll get more flavor. You won't need as much. I just like to use fresh when I can because it, oh, it smells so good. It's amazing. So next we have our basil looks like I have about four leaves here. I know it's a lot, but I love it. 
again, it's just so fragrant and fresh. All right, we're just gonna chop this up a little bit. There you go. Now, we have all our ingredients in, so we are gonna move all this over. And let's get this going. Let's get this on tight, because there's a lot in there. As a matter of fact, I'm not even sure I need the tamper, so I'm gonna put the lid on so we don't have a mess. All right, let's see how we do. basil and the oregano so that's how I like it again if you just want to play around with it figure out what taste you like feel free that's it's a lot of fun so I like it pretty thick so you can kind of see what it looks like you might want it not as thick so you would want to put in more tomatoes and that would make it a little um, less consistency as far as the thickness so make it your own okay we are ready to spiralize the zucchini and the cucumber and again it's super easy it's important to have the right tool for this um i have a peeler and i have a paderno spiralizer um, a lot of people do like electric there are handheld ones so it's really a personal choice of what you prefer so I use mine quite a bit, so I do enjoy this one. I did a lot of research um, on people who eat and do a lot of raw food recipes, and it seemed like this was a very popular one, so that's really why I chose it, and it had great reviews on Amazon. <laughs> so let's get started. So I have a zucchini here in the bowl. I have zucchini and cucumber. Um, there's not a set amount. It's just how much do you want to eat? So um, I'm going to cut the ends off for starters. And I like mine peeled. Not everybody does. Some people like the peels on and either way it's great. Actually, I think it's almost prettier with the peel on, but um, I just like, it just seems easier to eat. Um, and so that's why I choose to take the peels off. Um, I do buy organic. Um, if you do not buy organic, I would highly suggest taking off the peels and that way you don't get those pesticides. And again, you want to wash your produce really well. So, all right, here we go. Got the peel off. Easy peasy. Okay. It kind of has a brown spot there, so let's take that off too. All right, so we've got our spiralizer, and you just put one in here, and you clamp it tight, like that, and a nice, easy turn, um, one that is consistency the same, in, as far as the same pressure, because that's what will make your spirals really pretty, because spiralizing these foods they look so pretty they really do so you can see our spirals coming about falling off here go just a little faster but try not to have jerky movements oh and the other thing is be careful it's really sharp i just cut myself if you do cut yourself remember though no panic, no worry. You know, I talk a lot about the mind affecting the body, and it truly does. So what I do is if I cut myself, I visualize quickly those immune cells going straight to the cut. 
and taking over and healing that cut. And I let it go then. I wrap it up, don't give it any more thought. Because I know that it's being healed. And it'll heal quick, much quicker, I promise. All right, so I already have a bowl of zucchini and cucumber cut up. You can kind of see that the cucumber is a little more green. It's definitely more watery. So um, let's throw this in here. We have a nice, beautiful bowl of spiralized zucchini. Isn't it beautiful? And cucumber. Okay, here we are. We're ready for the fun part of putting our dish together. So we have our spiralized zucchini and cucumber. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and keep it right in that bowl. And I cut up some toppings. We have red, green, and orange pepper, some purple onion, and you can use green onion too, and also cherry tomatoes. So those are my favorites. I like putting a jalapeno pepper on it too because I love spicy uh, dishes. So you might have some other things you like. Um, you could actually put some fresh herbs or some other of your favorite fruits or vegetables would be great. So we have our sauce. I actually mixed it up just a little bit more. It has some tiny pieces of herbs in it. I prefer to have it a smooth consistency. Some people might like it with the little pieces in it. So again, it's just a personal preference. So let's go ahead and put this together. All right, so let's add our toppings. And you know, the amazing thing about raw food is it's so beautiful. You just wanna eat it because of the color and the vibrancy of the food. So look how pretty that's getting already. Let's add our orange pepper, gorgeous. Let's put in some purple onion. More color yet. Beautiful. And then let's add our cherry tomatoes. And then we're ready for our sauce. So again, it's just a personal preference how much sauce you like. I like a lot of sauce. And so I kind of put it on rather thick. So you can mix it up. I like putting it in bowls because you can get kind of messy with the mixing part. So here's the best part of all. Let's give it a taste test. I'm gonna get a bite of like a cherry tomato and a green pepper, maybe a little bit of onion and I do like the sauce, so let's give it a try. Mm. It is so good. Like I said, I eat this every day. Well, I hope you enjoy the recipe, and I would love it if you would comment under the video and maybe give a thumbs up. And if you would like to find out some more about my healing journey, please go to Facebook to Rejuvenate Raw with Kim. I would love to meet you there.